Proverbs chapter 18, verse 13. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is the hate, evil, pride, in arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for better. It's hate in the Bible. This world teaches you that you can't hate anything. Just, just love everything up under the sun. No, no matter what wickedness people are doing, you, you're supposed to love them. You see, you're supposed to pray for them. You're supposed to pray that they have a great life. You see, you're supposed to pray that they have, these wicked ass people, you're supposed to pray that they have food on their table. You're supposed to pray that they're able to, to pay their rent. You see, just live a long, prosperous life in wickedness. Look, look. Hate the evil, man. This is those that fear the God of the Bible, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, supposed to hate evil. But but when the wicked, but when the wicked is ruling, of course they're gonna want you to love everything up under the sun. They're gonna they're gonna want you to love wickedness. They, look, that goes contrary to what the scriptures are saying. What does it say again? Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13, and it reads, The fear of the Lord. See, see, these people that submitting all this wickedness on the earth, they don't fear the Lord. They don't fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Look, look, but they will though. They will though. Look, look, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is that hate evil, man. He look, look, look. How, how can two walk together unless they be agreed, man? You don't supposed to love wickedness. Look at, the, look at the average Israelite, so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. They have hopped right in bed with evil, with wickedness. They, they in the bed with wickedness, sleeping with it, chilling, comfortable. Not, not remorseful. They're not regretful. When these people commit these wicked acts and, and these abominable acts, they don't feel bad, man. You see? They, they glorify in wickedness But the scriptures tell us If you fear the Lord You're going to hate evil You're going to hate these wicked nations You're going to hate two thirds That's committing these wicked acts You're going to hate them man Oh that's hate speech That's hate speech Look you're going against the Bible Then you know right there This place is wicked as hell It, it wasn't So just stop it Israel This place was not established On biblical principles It was established upon wickedness That's, what you, that's, what you, that's why you see evil thriving In this place Evil is actually thriving in this wicked, sinful kingdom called America, man. It's thriving. Look, you're supposed to hate pride. These prideful people, these arrogant, pompous, really um, non-important people. You, you people out there, you, you're not important. You see? That's, that's why it ain't nothing for the God of the Bible to take you off the earth and we feel no type of way about it. Like, like when a gang bang will get taken off the earth, like we see we sit somewhere crying. Like a man that commits adultery, meaning messing with another woman that got a man, or a woman go out and mess with another man, knowing she got a man. When they get taken off the earth, we're not sitting somewhere crying. Or a person that smokes crack dies, you know what I'm saying? Could have cracked, you know what I'm saying? Bust his heart wide open. We're not sitting somewhere crying. A person is celebrating the cousins of the heathens like Thanksgiving. Their birthday, Christmas, New Year's Eve, and then something happened to them. They choke on a chicken bone or something. We're not shedding tears because we're supposed to hate the evil. Pride and arrogancy in an evil way, man. And the forward mouth. Do I hate? And the scripture say, those that love the Lord, you're supposed to hate the evil. We're going to see if we can get that. Let me see if I can get that record. I just want to bring out a scripture. You got, you got the whole earth telling you to love wickedness. That's what's being promoted on the face of the earth. Everybody wants you to love wickedness. Look, look. No. No. Let's get this. Psalms 97 and 10. Ye that love the Lord. Now, everybody say they love the Lord, right? And if loving the Lord is wrong, then they say they, say they don't want to be right, right? They, look, that's what they say, right? If loving the Lord is wrong, then they don't want to be right, right? That's what they say. 
Psalms 97 and 10. Ye that love the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, hate evil. Hate evil. It didn't say love evil. You no know saying it didn't say ignore the evils, turn a blind eye to the evils. No, it, it says hate evil, man. You see? And the scripture also say, um, would it would say um evils pursue of sinners, man? Evil pursue of sinners. It's, it's, it's gonna get you. You see? Our people trust that their wicked deeds, you know what I'm saying? And you see the majority of our people, they do wickedness just to get ahead in society. When the scripture, I got I got I gotta, I gotta bring the scripture out again. Every lesson that we do is being orchestrated and controlled by the God of the Bible, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. So no matter what we bring out, it's all through the Spirit. What the Lord is saying, look at the people of the earth, man. Everybody loves wickedness. Every everybody is a witch and a warlock and a wizard, which is a, a wizard is um, a male witch, a sorcerer. Everybody's into sorcery, different enchantments. Drugs, crime, idol worship. Look, you name it, man. But Psalms 97, a quick little lesson through the Spirit. Psalms 97 and 10. Ye that love the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, hate evil. And you get that? That's plain. That's plain. He preserves the souls of the saints. He's going to take care of the elect of the nation of Israel. He's going to preserve them from all the harm that he's getting ready to bring to the earth. You see? The Lord's getting ready to destroy you wicked people of the earth, but he's going to preserve, you know what I'm saying, a.k.a. protect the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing, we're part of that number. Just, just walk around loving evil. There's something, something wrong with a person like that. So look, look, something's wrong with that person's mind. They're insane in their membrane. You see people walk around loving wickedness. In the bed with wickedness, something wrong with that person. Get away from that person, man. Just get away from them, man. They're going to do you no good. They're going to get you caught up in some nonsense, man. All right? He preserved the soul of the saints. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. And who is the wicked? Sleazy E, man. Esau E. You see, the, the majority of our people that's caught up in that wickedness, where they end up at? In prison some damn well. Lock the hell up for the rest of their life. But Yahweh Bashim Yahshua said, look, you turn back to me, you repent, and turn back from your wicked ways. I have mercy on you. The majority of our people don't want mercy. And in, 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 in this deadly serious time, you got Israelites that don't want mercy. So Something wrong with them, man. The Lord said, hate evil, hate wickedness. You see? But but that's what the majority of our people in, they're in love with wick. Look, look at that, look at the average woman. They, look, they, they love a bad boy. They love a gangster. They love drug dealers. Letting you know something's wrong with their brain, man. Their brain has been altered, man. Anytime you love wickedness, they, look, they love criminals. They love crooks. They love thieves. They love liars. When the scriptures say, what? Exodus 23 and 2, thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. You, just because everybody else is committing wicked acts That don't mean you need to do it That don't mean you need to do it Israel Which consists of your so called Negroes, Latinos And they were making The Lord commanded us to hate the evil man Hate the evil man Once again Exodus 23 and 2 Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil Just because everybody else is going to drink that juice Don't mean you need to drink that juice Look we don't supposed to drink that Kool-Aid Got, got everybody to vote, and that's wicked. Follow not a multitude to do wicked. You see, look, somebody going down the streets, uh, fighting and all that. Look, don't go behind them. Because you're probably going to be the one that end up getting killed. Follow them behind a, a multitude of people to do wickedness. You got people robbing banks. They want you to go. Don't go. Consent not to them, man. The scriptures tell you that. It says, neither shalt thou speak. In a cause to decline out the many to rest judgment. And soon we bring out these scriptures, somebody's gonna have something to say about it. Every time we bring out a scripture like this, somebody's gonna say something about it. Well, that's the person that's gonna be judged soon come. And I'm, I'm just coming straight out the Bible, man. And the Lord changeth not. It's, yeah, it's 2022, but the Lord's still saying, hate the evil. 
Let's get this. Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe to them. Destruction unto them that call evil good. How are people actually call committing wicked acts a good thing? A dude selling drugs on a block, destroying his whole community. You know what I'm saying? Robbing, looting. Look, pe people get, look, yeah, man, you, that, that's, that's boss right there. That's boss right there. No, that's stupid. That's wicked, man. That's wicked right there. You see? Robbing old ladies, robbing old men. The scripture said, woe unto them, they call evil good. Look, look, and the phone chimed in. They call Sleazy E a good. They, they say Sleazy E, you know what I'm saying, is running the earth good. That ain't what the scriptures are saying. It says, woe to them that call evil good and good evil. Now, what we're doing, starting off with the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, when we out there on the highway and the byways, guess what they call that? They call that evil. Us preaching the 100% truth according to the Bible, they call that evil, right? But they call gang banging good. They call selling drugs good. They call these women to mess around on their man good. When, when that's wicked, that's evil, and the Lord said to hate it, man, all right? The, oh yeah, the shit, they polluting the whole earth Sleazy eats polluted the whole earth Killing, killing every animal Knowing the mankind You see Taking their lungs out, their hearts out All kinds, every, every part of their body Taking it out for, for research And they call that a good thing You see They call that a good thing, man They put darkness for light And light for darkness they put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. You no know say, because he that trusteth in his own heart is a fool, according to the Bible, man. And I just wanted to hit a couple of scriptures through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Look, look, the Lord said, you know what I'm saying, to hate the evil, man. Let's get this Sirach right quick. Let's go on and get this Sirach right quick. You see, the, the Lord said he's angry with the wicked each and every day, man. And look, and he reserveth wrath for him. This is Sirach chapter 39. Bear with me. Sirach chapter 39. Verse 25, and it reads, For the good are good things created from the beginning. So evil things for sinners. And with some of the evil things, death, the sword, famine, wars, calamities, poverty, all these things were created for the wicked and for their sakes came to flip. You, you want to be wicked? You want you don't want to turn back? You Israelites out there, you want to be wicked? You don't want to turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua? He got wrath preserved for you. He got fire. You know, them, them nuclear bombs, when they hit, it was created for the wicked. It was created to take the wicked off the earth, right? Let's read this again. Sirach 39, also known as Ecclesiastes, chapter 39, verse 25. For good, for the good are good things created from the beginning. So evil things for sinners with a sin, transgression of the law. Evils meaning bad times were created for you. So you want to love wickedness? You want to love evil? Just know that these bad times are created for you. And the scriptures say, follow not a mother to do evil, man. You see? Why? Because evil pursueth sinners. You see? Let's get this. Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. You see? You, you look, look, you, you want to be wicked? Then stay wicked, man. Stay wicked. You want to be wicked, stay wicked, and watch judgment come. It's all about judgment. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, constantly doing round-the-clock videos. Letting you know what's going to happen before it even happens. Get, get it together. Amos 5 and 14. Seek good. See, but I'm, but I'm, I'm speaking foreign language to the majority of the Israelites. They're not trying to seek good, which is the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, following the ways of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Having faith in Yahweh Shai. That's the last thing our people think about. That, that's not even in their membrane. The Lord, that's not even in their membrane, man. You see? Seek good and not evil. That ye may live. And look, ain't it mind-boggling though? Which it really ain't mind-boggling. But I'm just saying. 
It's, it's mind boggling how damn near every Israelite, so called Negro, Latino, and Native American, they love evil. They love some evil shit. Anything they got to do with something being wicked, they into it for real, for real. And those are the people that, are, that the Lord going to smoke soon come. Those are the people that the Lord is going to smoke soon come. Seek good and not evil that ye may live. See, we didn't came to the conclusion that the majority of our people, they don't want to live. That's why they constantly seeking evil, man. Whether, whether it's family members, whether, whether it's a loved one, whether it's your woman, whether it's your babies. If they into seeking evil, then you know the Lord's about to take them out if they don't repent and turn back from that nonsense, man. But the majority of the Israelites, they threw, they gone, man. Okay? And, the, and the, Lord's, the Lord needs to send them back to the spiritual realm. Seek good and not evil, that ye may live. And so the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh the power of hosts, the Lord of armies, shall be with you as ye have spoken. And, and, and you're going to want the Lord to be with you in these ter terrible times. 15, hate the evil. The Lord, how many times does the Lord have to say hate the evil for you Israelites to get it? The Lord says hate evil. You, you love evil more and more. You see? Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. I just want to throw something out there quick, fast. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Look, we're supposed to hate the evil, man. You see, listen, 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 let's get one more. I got one more and then I'm going to wrap it up. I got one more and then I'm going to wrap it up. <coughs> let's see. This is um, Psalms. <coughs> Salakia. This is Psalms chapter 5. Verse 4. For thou, for thou art not a power that have pleasure in wickedness. Neither shall evil dwell with thee, man. You see, Yahweh by Shemel Shiloh, he has no pleasure in our people committing wicked acts, man. All right? See, Sleazy E, he loves for you to commit wicked acts so he can lock your ass up. Plus, plus he wants his system to, to be ran chaotic. No, no. Yahweh by Shemel Shiloh commands order, discipline. You see? Let's read that one more time. Psalm chapter 5. Verse, um, let's see, what verse was that? Four, Psalm chapter five, verse four. For thou art not a power that have pleasure in wickedness. Because remember, the Lord is angry with the wicked each and every day, right? It says, neither shall evil dwell with him. So, so you Israelites that want to continue in your wickedness, just know that you're not going to dwell with Yahweh by Shem Shai. He's not going to protect you. He's not going to preserve you in these troubling times. So just get ready. A quick little lesson through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Look, look, hate the evil, Israel. You got these wicked prophets lying, breaking down the scriptures the wrong way. Get the hell away from them, man. The scriptures say, follow not a multitude to do evil, man. Blessed is he that read. If, look, if you if you read and you you understand what the scriptures are saying, you will know when a guy's going to hell off, and, and you will know to get the hell away from him before the Lord bring evil, meaning bad times upon him, because that's that's the time that we're living in. Bad times upon you, wicked, evil people. Shalom.